Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to go and play around with the timers inside of RIP. So if you've been studying hard on your Cisco stuff, you know that RIP sends updates every 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds, that's kind of a long time. Well, let's see how fast we can get RIP to converge after the link goes down. So one thing to remember if you're playing around with two router connections. If I down the interface at router 1 and I'm looking at router 1, it's going to remove the route right away. And the reason it does that is because it goes, well, well, you downed it and it's directly connected, so I'm just going to take that route out of the table. So to demonstrate this, we're on router 1. We already have our RIP configured. All of our IP addresses are configured. Show IP route. And I've got a RIP route to the loopback of router 2. Right? And I could ping it. 10122 or 10121. Right? And so as I move my terminal window, that was the interface address of loopback zero on router two. So watch this. If I go to the fast Ethernet interface and I shut it, and I go straight back and I do show IP route. My connected interface on fast zero zero is gone, and my RIP route going to the loopback address is gone. Because it detects when a directly connected interface is downed right away. So it, it just took it right away. It doesn't need to wait for the 30 seconds. It knows it's down because this link is down. Pop that back on. Interface fast zero zero. No shut. And here you'll see that we get a message that comes up, our connected interface 1.1.1.0 is back up. We don't have the RIP route just yet because you remember it's waiting for that RIP update every 30 seconds coming from R2. And there it is. Okay, so we now know that your connected routes and your RIP routes will go down if you disconnect your own interface, right? Your own router will know that things are wrong. But let's say we shut down the interface on router two. So we're going to shut down this half of, of the interface. Well, let's see what happens. We're going to go to router two. And you can see here that we have our RIP route going to the loopback. I'm going to go to conf t interface fast zero zero. We're going to shut it down from this side. Go back on router 1. Hit the up arrow. And you can see that we still have our RIP route. Our timer is now up to 31 seconds. And we're going to be waiting for quite a while here. Okay, so you can see after a while we're approaching one minute. It's definitely been longer than 30 seconds since we downed the interface. So from router one's perspective, everything is still somewhat okay. It's missed an update coming from the other side, but it doesn't know that anything's wrong just yet. So it's going to wait until the whole time in valid time so it's going to wait for the 180 seconds before it says something is wrong it's going to flush the route it's going to remove the route after 240 seconds so that's going to be a full four minutes after we down the interface on router 2 yeah if i do show ip route on router 1 that route is still there right obviously we can't ping it because the physical interface in between is is gone But the routing table, it's still okay for all, all intents and purposes. Everything's still somewhat okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video and then wait until the invalid timer kicks in and you can see how it looks. All right, we're back and you can see if I do my show IP route on router 1, 
you can see now we have a message rip route 10.1.2.0 is possibly down well we definitely know it's down because we killed the link on the other side so it's just rip hitting the invalid timer and the hold timer and it's basically telling us hey something's something's happening but as you can see the route is still in the routing table I'm gonna pause the video again and I'm gonna wait for the flush timer to hit and you can see you you will be able to see that this rip route is taken out of the table alright we're back again and you can see now when I do my show IP route on router 1 that rip route has finally disappeared so the default timers on rip it takes a long time for everything to to finally calm down and catch up so I'm gonna do a no shut on that interface bring it back and we'll wait a couple seconds and see if our routes come back and we'll probably have to wait looks like we got it on the beginning of the 30 second cycle so might have to wait a while for that to come back okay there it is okay so now we we know that rip takes a while to converge show IP protocols sending updates every 30 seconds we have an invalid 180 hold 180 and it's flushed after 240 so let's see how fast we can we can speed things up going to go into conf t go back into our router rip configuration and we have a command called timers basic hit a question mark and it's asking us how many seconds between updates okay so let's say we're going to do one second in between updates and you can see there that you can actually do zero in zero seconds between updates which means you're not going to send out updates so we're going to do one second between updates we're going to have an invalid time of let's say three seconds hit the question mark there hold down three seconds is fine and we're going to flush it out after five seconds and we can hit enter there because you can see we have a carriage return hit enter okay so now let's see what happens if we shut down the interface I do a show IP route gonna shut it down and on router 1 you see the route the routes already gone in router 1 it's it's toast that was very fast so now on uh, router 2 let's no shut it interface is up on router 2 and in this case we're gonna have to wait because we are waiting on router 2's update timer which is still set at 30 seconds so here's what we're gonna do let's change the update timer on router 2 let's go to router rip timers basic and here you don't actually have to make the timers match so they can be completely different timers if you want rip doesn't care routers basic one three three and we'll make the flush also three that's fine okay so now things should be really really fast okay so we're back on router one let's do a shut on fast zero zero shut it down still have the route possibly down it's hit the invalid timer and now it's gone so you can see the cycle there it's sending the updates it's down then it hits an invalid timer it warns you that things are possibly down and then finally it flushes the route out of the routing table we're gonna bring the interface back up let's see how fast and we've got our route back in our routing table so when you update the timers when you change the timers basic command and you make things faster than the default time of 30 seconds and 180 and 240 things happen a lot quicker but 
depending on your network, you may not want to do it every one second. It, it really depends on, on how, uh, how fault tolerant you are or how fast you want things to converge on your network. Also, if you're running voice over IP, you know, how many seconds are you willing to wait on a call you know, of, of static or a dead call before thinking something's wrong with the network. So, but as you can see here, you could set your RIP updates to send out every one second, and you could declare a neighbor down a lot quicker if you want than the default times. Well, that was another Router Gods video. Thanks for watching.